Okay, so this is, I'm doing a video on engine support systems. So this is our 1965 Mustang with the 289 Ford VH. So one of the engine support systems is the cooling system. So it starts out, well, we'll go from the front. Uh, here is the radiator. This holds coolant in the radiator and the radiator keeps your coolant cool air th flows in through here to the radiator fins and then cools it down in here and then so it cir the circulates through here into the intake manifold here's this is the thermostat housing and when you when you start your engine up and it's cold um, your thermostat will stay closed and that means that the coolant can't flow through the engine and it'll stay closed till it warms up and then once it's warms up it'll open and close and uh, keep it at try and keep it at a constant temperature and if it's getting too if it's getting really hot like say then it should hold wide open and just stay there and try and cool down the engine as much as possible so then we also have the water pump which pumps the coolant throughout the engine uh, yeah so it pumps it through the engine and what coolant does also so it goes into the heads and around the uh, in the cylinders and around the cylinders and keeps the the uh, inside of the engine cool basically um, so next we have the fuel system so of course we have the gas tank which is at the back of the car so that's what you put your gasoline in then runs up to here, here's the line from the gas tank, the fuel line, to the fuel pump which is run off of the engine and it pumps it up into here, then up into this line through this fuel filter just to make sure that no uh, unwanted like particles get through there and then it goes into the carburetor. On this particular application it's a carburetor but say on the Range Rover um, it'll go into fuel injection and into the injectors that go in the intake manifold or uh, there's throttle body which is basically it's it basically looks like a carburetor but it sits on top of an, a manifold just like that and it has injectors inside of the throttle body so then the next support system we have is the oil the oiling system so we have the oil pan at the bottom of the engine which basically the oil reservoir for the engine holds all your oil and that's what you're changing out when you're doing oil change you keep <laughs> you keep the oil in the engine so uh, yeah you put it into the engine and it sits in the oil pan so this dipstick right here goes down into the oil pan and that's you're checking the level so then we have yeah so there's a pickup in the oil pan that sucks it up into the engine and then comes into the comes into this uh, oil filter, and that makes sure that no, also no dirt particles and stuff go into the engine that you wouldn't want. And then it goes through passages in the engine and keeps everything lubricated, such as the crankshaft and the camshaft. And yeah, so then. For another engine support system, we have the electrical system. So we have the battery. So that's where, that's what powers everything. Then we have the alternator, which keeps the battery charged. It runs off of the engine uh, drive system. So this keeps the battery charged because, so if your alternator failed, your it would just be taking electricity straight from the battery and then your battery would just drain so this is what keeps it charged and then we also have so the wiring from the battery uh, we have the ground cable and then this goes to the starter solenoid and then this runs down to the starter and starts your engine up and yeah I think that's we also have well, we also have, of course, the spark plug wires, uh, spark plugs. That's also uh, powered by, like, that's elect that's electrical system. And, yeah, so that's basically most of the engine support systems that, for this application. 
and yeah, thanks.